Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Amma ba'd Fa'audhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Rasulullah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Habibullah As salatu wa salamu alayka ya Nabiullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nurullah Is mentioned Dear views of Mandi Channel that the beloved and the blessed Rasul, the leader of all the prophets, the best of creation and the most beautiful creation, none other than the one who Allah loves the most, the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. He himself has stated that when Thursday arrives, Allah Azza wa Jal will send angels down who have papers made out of silver and they have pens made out of gold and they will write the names of those individuals who recite peace and blessings upon me in abundance on the day of Thursday and the night of Friday meaning the night between Thursday and Friday Subhanallah Azza wa Jal May Allah Azza wa Jal give us all the ability to Abundantly, not just every other day, but especially on the night between the Thursday and the Friday, to abundantly recite peace and blessings upon the best of creation, the most beautiful creation, none other than the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and especially in this present month, the views of Mundi Channel. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Welcome dear viewers of Madhi channel to our silsila yet again called Easy Rewards Asan Nekia and what is this silsila? What does this silsila talk about? Dear viewers of Madhi channel this amazing silsila talks about mine and yours daily activities and in those daily activities why we are doing these daily activities what's the purpose and have they become a formality what are the evil intentions that can creep into our hearts by shaitan? You know, when he whispers, when he gives the waswasa, you know, what are the evil intentions that could creep in while we do our daily activities? And you know, other than that, knowing that, you know what, this is my daily activity. This is something I have to do anyway. So, while I'm doing this, don't do this as a formality, but making the correct intentions, making sure I do this, for the sake of Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam And not just that, give you I have to do this anyway So you know, because I'm doing this anyway Can this be a good deed? Yes, it can be a good deed And here we are telling you how to make intentions to make it a good deed Because you have to do it anyway And is this a sunnah? When it is, yes, we will tell you this is also a sunnah So you're not just making intention to please Allah and His Rasul You're not just making intentions that you know what, this is a good thing, that's why I'm doing this you're also acting upon the sunnah of the best of creation, dear viewers of Madisha. And not just that, you are doing this in the blessed month, this blessed month of Ramadan, the best month out of every single month, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jal. Why? This is the month of Allah Azza wa Jal. So let's make the intention that whatever we do in our daily activities from now on, if I just make the correct intentions and I start in the blessed month of Ramadan to do this, with the barakat, with the blessings of Ramadan, starting this work in Ramadan, inshallah, I will continue to do this for the rest of my life. And doing this, I will see the blessings in this world and in the hereafter. And especially in the month of Ramadan, I will get an abundance, an abundance, an abundance of reward. Subhanallah. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Deviants of Madhi Channel, like I mentioned every single episode, that there could be one topic, 
And this topic is a daily activity that me and you do. And with this daily activity that me and you are doing, sometimes there could be negative intentions. For example, the waswasa from shaitan. When he whispers into our hearts, when he whispers into our ears, are you doing this for Allah and His Rasul? Dear viewers of Madhya, I'm asking you, are you doing this for Allah and His Rasul? Or have you fallen prey? Shikar, you know, to shaitan, that whatever he's whispered to you, for example, you have forgotten to make the good intentions, but you're doing this for the people. You're doing this for praise. You're doing this for pride. You're doing this for yourself. So dear viewers of Madhya channel, I will talk about the negatives first, but the first topic that I am talking about is the intentions of wearing the blessed Imam al-Sharif. The intentions of wearing the blessed turban on our head. And what are the negative intentions that can happen due to this the abuse of Mandi channel? The first thing I want to mention is that when we wear the blessed Imam al-Sharif, when we wear the sacred turban, again, is this for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam? Or is this because you want people to praise you? You want people to look at you and say, Masha Allah, Subhanallah, by looking at you. And they are not saying, Masha Allah, Subhanallah, for the sake of Allah and Rasul. They are also saying it because of you. And you know this is happening because of you. You are getting some pride into your heart. You are letting pride build up into your heart. You are making yourself believe yourself. You're making yourself believe in yourself and believe that, you know what, I am something special. And the truth is, dear viewers of Mother Channel, we are absolutely nothing. But why? Because you are wearing the blessed Imam Sharif. Due to this reason, now you are looking more beautiful. And because you are looking better, you are looking better. Now you want other people to notice you. You want other people to praise you. You want other people to say, you know what, he looks amazing. Now the other negative I want to mention dear viewers of Madhya channel is when you wear the blessed Imam al-Sharif on your head, do you start thinking to yourself that this is so other people, not only just praise me, that was the first negative. The other negative is people think that I am a scholarly figure. People think that I am a Imam sub. People think that I am somebody special. Dear viewers of Madhya channel, I'm asking, do you wear the Imam al-Sharif? First of all, it's if you do, and if you do, are these your intentions? You want people to think you are somebody special. This is wrong, dear viewers of Madhi Channel. This is totally, totally wrong and bang out of order. But are these our intentions? We have to question ourselves. Why do I start with the negatives, dear viewers of Madhi Channel? Because there's like three or four scenarios where I always mention, where whatever topic I am mentioning, it might be that we don't know this is a good deed at all. Or it might be we don't know it's a good deed, but we're indulged in thinking bad. Or it might be we know it's a good deed, but we're just doing it as a formality. And linking this to what I'm saying now, dear viewers of Madhya Channel, is that sometimes we might know that the blessed Imam Sharif, you know, we might be doing this. And while we're doing this, it's become normal. We're not doing this, okay, we can make intentions for doing this. Or while we have been doing this, we have crept into the bad side of things. We have crept into the bad mindset, the negative mindset, and we have allowed shaitan to give us waswasa. Is this our state, dear views of Madhya channel? So what I'm trying to say is, are we making the correct intentions? And now we move on to the positives of why you should wear the blessed Imam Sharif why we should wear the blessed Imam Sharif. If you don't wear the Imam Sharif, wear it in the blessed month of Ramadan. Dear viewers of Madhya Channel, you will have nothing to lose but everything to gain. I tell you, the first intention, dear viewers of Madhya Channel, what is the first intention? That you know, I am wearing the blessed turban, I am wearing the blessed Imam Sharif. Why? To please Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam. This is the first intention, dear viewers of Madhya Channel. The second intention, that me and you can have Allahu Akbar. It gets better and better, dear viewers of Madhya Channel. Not only it's for Allah and His Rasul, and not only, like I always mention, and like in every single episode, I always say that Islam is a way of life. How is that way of life taught to me and you? It's through the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad So not only is this a Sunnah, 
but now I will also tie the Imam Sharif around my head, going the right way around, meaning clockwise. And while I am tying this, the first thing I will do is I will tie it on a white topi, a type of cap. Why? Because the Prophet Muhammad also used to adorn his blessed head. He also used to bless a white hat, a white topi on his blessed head. He also used to bless this. And then he used to bless that white hat by tying the blessed Imam Sharif around it. So the second intention, dear viewers of Madi channel, another sunnah is to wear a hat. Another sunnah is to wear a white hat. There's two sunnahs I'm telling you, dear viewers of Madi channel. In the second intention, that what is this? Let me summarize this for you. That you will tie the Imam Sharif and a hat. Now from this we learn that the Prophet Muhammad before he wore the Imam Sharif, he used to tie it on something. What? He used to tie it on a hat. So if you make the intention that I am wearing a hat because the Prophet Muhammad wore a hat, now this is a sunnah that you are acting upon. Now let me just stop here. This is a sunnah you are acting upon. You are doing this for the sake of Allah and Rasul. You are doing this in the blessed month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. Azzawajal. How much rewards are me and you gaining? Now I've just told you about a hat, dear viewers of Madi channel. It's mentioned the color of the hat was white. Now when you wear a hat, and now that hat is also white, that's two sunnahs you are acting upon. Alhamdulillah. Azzawajal. Another thing I want to mention to you, another intention that me and you can make, before we even tie the Imam Sharif, we can recite, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear viewers of Madi channel, one final intention I'd like to mention. While you have wore the Imam Sharif, while you have wore the blessed white hat, and while you have read Bismillah Sharif, how should you do this? How should me and you do this? Which way should we be facing? It's mentioned you should be standing. And not only standing, you should be facing the Qibla. Dear viewers of Madi channel, as I mentioned before, that Islam is a way of life. The Prophet Muhammad taught us this way of life. Now I want to mention a couple of points after mentioning these intentions that from now on, dear viewers of Madi channel, let's make the intention that first of all, if we don't do this, I will start wearing the white hat, I will start adorning my head with the Imam Sharif and I will start reading Bismillah Sharif while facing the Qibla, if I don't do this anymore. The second thing, if I am doing this, because a lot of people do do this, Alhamdulillah Azawajal, Allah Azawajal has blessed me and you by wearing the blessed Imam Sharif. But if you as a Madhishana, like I always say, is this a formality now? Have we stopped making the intentions? We might not be thinking anything negative, but we're not thinking anything positive as well. We're just doing this because it's a formality. It is a habit now. We have to do this. No, dear viewers of Madhishana, we don't have to do this. But we, in fact, we should have the mindset that we need this. We have no choice. We need this. Now I have to do this because of X, Y, and Z. No, I need this. This is the sunnah. This is going. This is what's going to save me. TV is a Madi channel. For those of you who are wearing, and now for those of you who don't wear and have made intention that you will wear, I'm going to mention one point. I'm going to tell you that what if you've made intention now? I will wear the blessed Imam Sharif the way the Prophet Muhammad used to wear. I will wear the white hat the way the Prophet Muhammad used to do this. Or if I have stopped making intentions, I've been wearing the Imam Sharif, but it's a formality, I forget to make my intentions. I will mention one thing that from now on, when you make the good intentions in this holy month of Ramadan, imagine, yeah, imagine, Allah give you all a long life. Allah give me a long life and enable us to do the works of Dawah Islami the way our beautiful peace have wanted to do. Amiri Ali Sunnat, Dawah Barakatimul Aliya. But what if you die, dear viewers of Madi channel? Because we all have to die. Wouldn't you want to die with the blessed Imam Sharif placed on your head? Wouldn't you want to die in that state where you are acting upon many sunnahs of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Wouldn't you want your body to be carried in that state that you know what? You have been following the sunnah of the best of creation. You have did this in the month of Ramadan. On top of that, you have read Bismillah Sharif and now people are going to bury you. And remember this dear viewers on Madi channel because we all have to die. But imagine, the way you die is the way you will be resurrected. You died in sajda wearing the Imam Sharif. Allah has now resurrected you. You did this for Allah 
Allah resurrected you on the day of judgment while wearing the blessed crown on our head. Something that the Prophet Muhammad used to wear on his blessed head. Imagine that, dear viewers of this channel. Why are we not making these intentions? Why are we, you know, if we don't make these intentions, if we're not wearing the Imam al I'm going back to those people who never wore the Imam al before. Why didn't we think like this, Shaitan? And those people who are wearing the Imam al who have been wearing it and forgot to make the good intentions, they're wearing it as a formality. Why do you use the Madi channel? Oh, my brothers, why have we gotten involved into a formality? Whatever I'm doing always, whatever activity it might be, that I go into a habit, I go into that zone that this is something that I have to do now. I'm doing it for the sake of it. Shaitan again. He is at war with us, the abuser of Muslim channel. He is at war with me, and he is at war with you right now while I am speaking. Don't listen to the brother. What if you wear the Imam al What will people say? Forget what people say. We should think, well, what will Allah and his Rasul say? Why don't we think like this, the abuser of Muslim channel? You know, when we think, Negative, we start coming out with all the wrong things. But you know, when we really want to do something, when we really, the day we really want to please Allah and Rasul, may that day be every single day of our life with every single breath and every single heartbeat, especially in the holy month of Ramadan, where not one single moment should be wasted. Dear views of Madi channel, why? Because even if you're asleep in the state where you're fasting, it is an also an act of worship. Alhamdulillah, our Lord doesn't forget us while we are asleep forgetting Him. Our Lord doesn't forget us. So why are we forgetting our Lord? Why are we forgetting the blessed sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? So dear views of Madi channel, make this intention. I will adorn my head with the blessed Imam al-Sharif and I will never take it off now. I will read my five namazes with this. I will read the taraweeh namaz with this. I will inshallah give dars with this. I will talk to people with this on. Why? Because I am a Muslim. And how should a Muslim be? He should be the way the Prophet Muhammad was. Is the perfect one. We should follow him. And who follows him in this day and age, dear views of Let's ask ourselves this question. That me and you, we might not be strong. And this is true. Not might. In fact, we are not strong. It's a fact. But who is following the best of creation's way? Alhamdulillah, my Shaykh al Our peace of Amiri al sunnah Look at his beautiful face. How the beautiful sunnah is on his beautiful face. And look how the beautiful Imam Sharif is on his blessed head. Yes, I am talking about Muhammad Ilyas Atar Qadri. Razavi Damat Barakatimul Aliyah. Amiri Ali Sunnah, I am talking about him who has spread Dawud Islami. He is the founder of Dawud Islami. I made Dawud Islami spread in so many, it's global, so many countries. We hear this all the time. It's all over the world, Alhamdulillah. Why? Why is this the abuse of Manishan? Because he has hurt for the Ummah. He has hurt for me and you, along with following the sunnahs of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and following him properly. He has hurt for me and you, dear views of Madhya Caring for the Ummah is also a sunnah. Doing dua for the Ummah is also a sunnah. The Prophet never forgot us, but we are forgetting Allah We are forgetting the Prophet's way. The pathways have been created, but we are not jumping on those pathways. We are avoiding those pathways. Dear viewers of Madhya Channel, may Allah give me, give you, give all of us the ability to act upon what I have said, inshallah, and truly, truly, truly follow the way of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa You see, in every single thing of our life, there is a way. There is a way. We just don't know it. How can we find out? Dab Islami. Alhamdulillah. Dear viewers of Madhya Channel, unfortunately, yet again, we have come to the end of this episode in this silsila easy rewards asan nekia where we find out that ye bi neki hai this is also a good deed this is part of my daily activities these are the negatives these this you know these negatives shaitan could whisper in our hearts in our ears that you know maybe you're not you're doing something part of your daily routine it's a daily activity but you're thinking wrong now every day you're getting sin for it or we might not be thinking anything we have no intentions, but it's all being wasted. Or where we explain that, you know, this is a good thing. And this is a good thing. We should be doing this with the correct intentions to please Allah and the Prophet Muhammad. With the right intentions, the righteous intentions, alhamdulillah. And through this, I'm telling you, in this blessed month of Ramadan, this could be a means of forgiveness for me and for you. But only if we act upon what we say, inshallah, azawajal. 
keep watching Muslim channel. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Easy rewards, easy rewards, easy rewards, easy rewards, easy rewards, easy rewards, easy rewards.